friends, here's some simple ax stuff. This is for the, the, the person who does not know about axes, who wants to buy axes, but he's, he's, he's buying axes for splitting wood, okay? The one on the bottom is not a wood splitting ax. The one on top is most definitely a wood splitting ax. And a dandy at that. This one on the bottom, you wanna see what it does? See that? You see these will, these will, it, it won't split anything and it'll do this. Look at this. It'll get stuck. Okay, like look at, it drops in so easy. Now this one, look at that. We're, we're right on a knot, but it's actually going to bust through it like that. And like that. And like that. And like that. So friends, see those four handles there? There's two from our good buddy Jonesy. And there's uh, the C30 from Whiskey River right there in the middle. And then the mystery handle on the far right. Okay. Um, if some of you are astute, you might find out or know where it's from. But uh, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to try this handle. I, I've just spent so much time on this right here. Because friends, you remember when I, I took the, um, I took the handle off of the, uh, the Helco, right? My chopping ax, because I wanted something a little bit shorter. These ones were a, were a no brainer candidate. Those were good. And, and I still down the road, you never know, but I really like the way this ax feels in my hands. So here we are. See, we're, we're ready to go. Okay. Woo! Check it out. Oh my. See, that's why I also like burning, friends. This slipped on before. Now look. Look at, it's spread. Look. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is an interesting ax, actually. Well, that's looking freaking pretty, friends. Wow. See, I got, I got down further than I thought. I, I, I'm down on the shoulder. There's not even coil happening. There's no curl, friends. Do you know what I'm saying, right? It takes time to get a good fit. It just does. This, this ax, oh dear. Or I got another quarter inch out of it. I was at 29 and a half last time. And I haven't even given it the complete wallop yet. I might get 29. No, there's no way I'll get 29. I won't get 29. Oh my gosh. See, look at, look at this. Who's your dad? What time's he off work? Where's he taking holidays? Who is your daddy? Look at that. <laughs> Rocking the sock, baby. <laughs> oh, it's glorious. Oh, straight as a bone. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, I'm glad I did this. I didn't know. I almost... Oh, my gosh. I'm glad I done this. I needed to get every little last bit of this thing, friends. Okay? I had to. Okay. So now, I'll show you something. I have a certain way. It takes me a little longer than the next guy to half the axe, probably. But, friends... Yeah. Check this out. Shaklank, right? Look, put your thumb there, right? Fwapo. Shaklink clonk. Where's that at? 
That's two thirds down the ax. <laughs> You're darn tootin' it is. Because all these things that get, get taken into effect. Oh dear. Oh my, 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 my. I'm gonna half this thing and I'm gonna actually leave that much above. I am. And I'm gonna crack it. Hey, are you guys and gals and women and children ready for this one? Yeah, I, I think he ours. I think he is ours. I know I am. And I've got my wedge shaped a certain way because of how the haft went. And we're going old school on it. We're putting this in here like this. Yes, indeed we are. We're gonna start it. See how it started even? It went down even. It didn't it didn't give me gears because this back end, friends, was was tighter than the front. Do you know what I mean? Like look at that before you start banging wedges. This is what I'm talking about. Look. Okay? Let's do this. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, you want to see something? I just, I just want to show you this. You saw the how hard I hit that, right? It's gonna be cool. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, look at this. No bounce back, of course. Look look where we're at so far. Like it's, friends, do you know what I'm saying? I'm going after it now. Like now I'm going after it. Okay, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is... Um, how you can, if you, once you've done 800 of the suckers, you can fill your, your wedge space with wedge and make your half look all that much better. Right? You know, you know what I'm saying, right, skis? <laughs> Friends, I, uh, I, I mean, I'm concerned. I'm, I'm, I'm very concerned. Right? Yeah. This is what I'm this is what I'm saying. It's over. There's no bounce back. There's no nothing. It's there's no curl. Notice I didn't have to clean any curl off because that's the half deroni you're looking for. Here, let's put these away.
So friends, I think it's safe to say that anybody who's been around the woods, the bush, we call it here, you guys call it the woods, wherever you are or whatever, we all have our names for things, depending on where we were born and who we hung around with, right? It's the bush here. I worked in the bush. That's what we call it here. <clears throat> I think other places call it the woods and that's cool. Uh, cause that's what it is. It's the woods and it's the bush, but I can, I think it's safe to say we've all run into to this scenario where, where something goes over in the bush. I, I know a guy that broke his leg like that. I've no, I've known guys that have shattered their faces, broke their jaws from this very thing. I've known guys that have been knocked out, clean out cold laying in the shallow. Okay. And this is the thing about logging or falling it's 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 way more dangerous than just tree work residential tree work i do both i've been doing both for 25 years and fallen has gotten me more than than tree work has ever gotten me i've been hurt doing tree work of course i have from a silly mistake here and there but this this here this type of thing it, it gets overlooked until you get smacked a few times and then you clean up your work and that's what happened to me anyway I don't know if you can relate to that, but we got snags everywhere here. Look at that one right there. It's an alder snag. It's dead. Bone dead. Bark's rocking and rolling right off it. Look at it right there. My camera won't work that good because it'll go hazy. See, but there, this, this is what I'm, I'm, I'm alluding to. But, but I want to show a couple techniques here that, because I'll guarantee you this thing's loaded. And if you go over here and just smack that sucker right there, it's going to get you. It's going to get you. Now you can go, you can go over there and, and just start hitting the tension side, which is not a smart, smart thing to do. It's just not. Um, compression first is, is, the, is the, the idea. There's a hundred ways to skin the cat. Uh, if you're going to hit tension, then get ready to bolt and, and hit the road. Okay, so I've got a couple axes here. I, I'm going to keep the camera back a ways. There's just no point. You'll be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to take my Helco, my beautiful Helco with my brand new handle on it from a friend of mine. And I'm just getting used to this handle now. It's curvy. It's beautiful. But uh, this is what we're looking at. Look at that. So um, kind of similar to, the, to the, the Whiskey River handle. But you know what? We're going to give this a shot. It will. So... This has been sitting here for a while, obviously, right? So uh, I'm not even that comfortable on this side, but know this, know this. If you come over here and, and like, like and, and literally sometimes just the tap of an ax can blow this thing up and bust you up bad. It can friends, believe me. Okay, like, like it's loaded down there. It's all loaded down. So, so this here, you know, you want to try and get on behind stuff, you know, uh, this something came over and loaded this thing up big time. So you can literally come underneath. You see, this is, this is uh, pretty loaded here. I can see it. See this? See, it's not going anywhere because I'm hitting the compressed wood. You see it? See what, see what it's happening? This isn't a good location. I don't like it at all. I'm just showing you that this wants to spring up. So if I hit here, you know, did you hear that? Did you hear that noise? That's freaking loaded and it can take you out. So, so I'm just showing you. Assess your situation. Assess the situation. This isn't a safe place for me to be. Let's go over here. Let's have a look. This here, oh yeah, we're loaded completely. So I could dissect this here. This I'm not too worried about. So let's dissect this here. There, that's dissected. Get all this stuff out of your freaking hair. See how sharp that axe is? It's sharp, friends. Now, I started in here, which wasn't a good spot, but this here looks to me, this is protecting me, this is kind of protecting me. I could, if I wanted, come in here, but, but look at what's happening. That split first hit. 
it's loaded. I can't really get a swing underneath this, so I may as well just get safe behind stuff. Okay, this is, this is gonna blow. You can see it. Okay, you see that? There we go, I'm safe in behind here. But now, now this thing is loaded and it's gonna wanna spring up. So let's check. Totally a good thing. To, to, to show you guys. Now, it's very difficult for me to get underneath. So, clear your ground, right? Clear your, your, uh, your top and zone. And here we are. We got two trees protecting us there and this little guy right here, okay? But I wanna try and give you the idea of safe practice on letting this go. I can't really swing underneath what I usually like to do in a scenario like this, friends, is, is take, like if I was working the power saw right now, I would probably come up and nip this underneath. Here, you see, Under, underneath. Uh, I can't really do that right now. So, and there's no point in, in, in getting this, mind you. Bad handle. Friends, a couple of schools of thought here. Use a bigger axe. Two Atai would gobble through that. It's harder to throw around. This is a four pound axe, friends. Or boy's axe, 28 inch handle, closer to the body, more accurate, more whippy. That's but you got to take more swings to do your business. It's either oh. whichever you got to do. Look far ahead. How much work have you got to do he that day? Here. There we go. Okay, so that automatically lightened up. I saw it. Now, so friends, we've got a log here. What's gonna protect me? If I'm further back than this log, right, this thing here, it's solid enough it's gonna protect me. But I can guarantee you, friends, if I just go and hit that right there, see how sharp that ax is? If I hit that there, it's gonna blow. It is, it's gonna take off. Now, if there was any side pressure, side lean, it's gonna get me. It's gonna get me. So, what I would like to show is something different, okay? We're in a bad spot, there's no doubt about it, we're in a bad spot for it. But, when you're in the bush, you gotta make do. Now, check this out. Experienced it. I've had my hat, hard hat been knocked off my head by it's just it can happen fast out there so compression first I'm not getting pinched as you can see but if it was super super loaded you'd notice and you'd notice right away so taking compression tells you what's going on back at it see I can safely take compression wood this is the compressed wood, friends. You see what's happening? See, I know now that this thing is not super duper loaded. Could you imagine if I was on top right now, it would have been gone long ago way long ago it hasn't moved because it's folding in on itself i'm still here if this let go there's that thing right there that's going to protect me that snag okay this is very uncomfortable swinging don't don't get me wrong it's terrible but it's an axe and it's a safe way to do this You're so tempted to hit the top of it, friends. You are, but that's not the exercise here. So 
I hit that last because I could tell by what the tree was doing that it wasn't really loaded a ton. But did you see what just happened? If I had not have taken out that compression wood, it would have had twice, three times the, the bang. So here I am. <coughs> it smacked that thing. It smacked it. It did what I said it was going to do. Okay. So we got a big snag over there. We got one here. We should probably let go too. Don't be afraid to take the time to do things safely, friends. I, I have been known to be a little haywire and take chances my whole life, but compression first. That was the exercise. That's enough for now, friends. There's not enough time. I've got another video with the ax. Friends, I, I've been doing a lot of thinking about what I have to offer on this platform. How can I, because it is in my best interest to get the human being outside, get the the youth, the, the, the children, the young. Friends, listen, I, I'm, I'm just telling you straight. I grew up down the road here okay way down there probably five miles on the salt chuck on a, on a piece of property and then out in the bush i spent my whole youth in the bush running around in the bush like a jungle well of course you're going to run into a hatchet and a butter knife we literally chopped trees down with mom's kitchen knife the big you know the one the bread knife right we did we just that's what we did I've been dodging widow makers my whole freaking life, pushing alder snags over, rocking them back and forth till they either snap that way or that way. Do they uproot or snap in half and you run? I ain't proud of it. It's just, it was our playground. It's, it, it just, what it's what it was, friends. It's what it was. So uh, anyways, regardless, I'm kind of going off, but, but friends, so in, in this video, after that, I did a lot of chopping yesterday, a lot of chopping. Um, so after that, uh, I go knock down a couple trees. There's a, there's a, you saw a couple of blurbs in the video there where I, I take care of that big alder snag. Well, that's something we're going to talk about too. I cut it down, cut a couple of trees down and we do a little bit of wood split. And we talk about the difference in profiles and stuff. So that's going to be on the next video. Um, we're going over to the, to the, to the blacksmith shop today, the, the, the buckskin forge and, and playing around in there a little bit today. I got some setup to do over there. I got a piece of mild steel. I'm going to punch a hole in hopefully get that on on camera and, and and share that with you guys gals women and children friends i feel something happening here i do i i i feel something coming we are gonna have a buck in stock it's gonna happen the world has changed its diapers and there's a few places yet where it's just it's not quite smelly enough in the diaper so they're holding on a little bit and then they're gonna change their diaper and we're going to get back to living. I'll see you on the next video. Friends, leave a thumbs up if this helped you or if it made sense. Let's work this YouTube channel like it's a YouTube channel. Leave comments. Hit me with the freaking comments. Ask questions. You guys see me in the comment sections? I know you do. Now, who's that coming out here? Oh, it's Rusty. Hi, Rusty. Hey. Say hi to all your fans. Hey, guys. That's my brother-in-law. That's Wendy's brother. He's a captain, a pilot on the uh, ships, the big, huge freighters you see come in. Right, you're off to France, aren't you, Russ? Yeah, in April. Russ is off to France in April. Yeah, he's uh, he's a good man. He does lots of lots of interesting jobs. Anyway, friends, that's it for now. I'm glad you got to see Rusty. We'll catch you on the next video. Be kind to one another in traffic when we're all 
you know, stiffed in traffic and traffic's mad and there's somebody trying to get in from the side road, stop and let the freaker in. Just let him in. He's going to do the same up the road. Then it's going to hit the ripple effect like the stone in the, in the pond. And everybody's going to start being nice to one another. Shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. We think about it. Why don't we do it? Let's start. Be the change. Love yous. Over now.